And now, your East Texas Storm Team forecast. Welcome back to East Texas Live. We're throwing it back out to White House to Carson Vicroy for a look at the forecast. Carson, how's it looking out there? Oh, it looks beautiful out here right now, and this is the true definition of partly cloudy because we are partly cloudy out here. We got clouds, we got sun, we got the whole shebang, and we are also safely exchanging your weather forecast here in the safe exchange zone, so let's get right to it. Here's satellite and radar. Now, I mentioned the clouds. That's because of a minor disturbance right behind the front that moved through yesterday. It will continue to move through, but this area of high pressure should squash our rain chances as we head into this afternoon. But again, I can't rule out a sprinkle or two. Don't freak out about it. It could be there but it's not going to be a complete washout. It is inappropriate to cancel those outdoor plans if you have it. Now, as we look at live Doppler radar, the main activity that we saw yesterday has formed into a big line that's almost a statewide. Look at that across parts of uh, South and North Carolina, extending up into the Northeast there. So that is not going to turn around and hit us again. That is heading out into the Atlantic. So we are safe from that storm system right there. Long view, you know, a few miles off to the northeast of here. We're also dealing with a mixture of sunshine and cloud cover. So not really seeing a lot in the way of rain across the area. But once again, you know, maybe two, five percent will pick up a brief shower today. Temperature wise, we're doing pretty good. Upper 50s, lower 60s, and we will probably warm up about 10 more degrees today. You can see our high temperature for today. I've got us at 69 degrees. We'll see plenty of sunshine, and that is trending a little bit cooler than what we saw yesterday thanks to that cold front. Now tonight, those mostly sunny skies that we see this afternoon, they're going to transition into clear skies overnight, and we'll be down to about 43 for a low temperature. So the jackets you needed this morning, well, you're going to need them this afternoon. Future cast. Now, I'm starting this Saturday, very early in the morning Saturday, around midnight. Notice, as we put this in motion, a very weak cold front's going to move through the area, and as a result, we could have rain chances for us. Not overly heavy, not overly light, but if we do see a shower, it's probably going to last for about 30 to 30, 30 minutes to an hour in the pre-dawn hours. But that all moves out by the afternoon, and we're going to be dry the remainder of the weekend. Storm chances Monday and Tuesday. We'll get into more details on that tomorrow, but the temperature forecast over the next 6 to 10 days, it does look like we will return to average. That is the historical mean over the last 30 or so years, and that would put us in the 70s for this time of year. From a rainfall standpoint, it does look like it's going to turn dry after Monday and Tuesday. They're in shaded in the tan and also the orange to our west. There are your next seven days. We do have sunshine today and tomorrow will be in the 70s, 77 Saturday. That lone 80 will be on Sunday, so the cold front is going to kind of be a joke. It's just going to give us those rain chances. Monday, Tuesday, showers and thunderstorms possible. We've got highs in the 70s for the remainder of your seven day. Deep East Texas, we're in the lower 70s today. We hit 77 tomorrow. That slight chance of rain, I still have it for you Saturday morning, but we do dry out Saturday afternoon and Sunday. More storm chances as we head into Monday and Tuesday as we're riding a line just right below 80 degrees for the start in the middle part of next week.